where you could still spin Feeling around. okay today, guys. So when you get to we're the just bar, still gonna work through this. Find a cardio machine, we're gonna get started. So freaking hot. Should we make a protein shake? You help me? Okay. One. Okay, put some in, please. Ice cream, yeah. That was tricking me. Did you get any? You like it? Mm. Yum? 10 out of 10? Mm. You gotta have some of your lunch. <laughs> Okay, um, that workout was kind of disappointing just because I just wasn't able to go like I wanted to, but that's okay. We did it. We showed up and it's always tomorrow. So that's the theme of this week. At least we're all healthy, right? That's right. I'm late, you guys. Full day of eating. I had some animal crackers on the way here, but that's it. So, pray for me. RX and it's heavy like I don't would never normally do this so I'm scared. Yeah, Anytime then. Uh, yep, you're doing that. <laughs> I love that you said the snatch was the problem and the only problem with that is you muscle snatched it. You went. Yeah. You didn't even drop. It's kind of scared right, of it. Bye. I don't know what's gonna happen. Jesus take the wheel. I wouldn't necessarily recommend only fueling on like animal crackers, but for me, I really like going super light in my food and pretty much strictly just straight up carbs um, to fuel, especially a morning workout. Um, I don't like to eat a full meal within like an hour window before just because it feels like way too heavy. Um, so just feel it out on pre-workout fueling, but I will say I would bet about 80% of people are like better, you get better performance when you're fueled um, for your workout. So fasting, cardio, fasting, workout, like I don't really, I don't know, I don't really believe in it truthfully. It's not something I recommend for my clients. So think about that. But I'll see you at lunchtime, okay? See you there. All right, it's not quite lunchtime. I mean, it is, it's noon, but I haven't actually eaten lunch. I had a little shake because I was too lazy to make a PE science one, so sorry. Sometimes I do this because we have a little mini fridge in our office and I just pull one out and it's just easy, but um, I had so much work to get done. So now I'm done with that and the last thing that I have to do for today is ship out all of our six week challenge t-shirts. Um, so a free t-shirt is what we did for this last challenge, like just as a little perk and I'm gonna keep doing it in every, time we have a challenge it's gonna be a new t-shirt so like this is the t-shirt from um this challenge and next challenge is gonna be different which the next challenge starts on august 20 august 18th yeah august 18th so if you're wanting to do that highly recommend um but i like to write a little note on each little packing slip so that's what's taking me so long then i'm gonna go pack orders
I've got all of my packing slips ready to go. They're all got their little special notes on them. I grabbed this like builder bar, protein bar, just because I need to get these orders out and I don't really have time to make anything. So I'm gonna eat a protein bar. So let's go pack orders. It is three o'clock and I'm eating this little taco bowl. Behind on eating today, but this is just how it goes when I'm busy. Um, so I just finished her orders. I'm gonna eat this. It has a little bit of like lettuce on the bottom. Um, we just had like a little dinner or lunch for employees today. So it's got like chicken, sour cream, salsa, a little bit of chips, some rice, cheese. So that's what I'm having right now. I am so hungry. It is eight o'clock. And we took Letty to Target and got dinner, which is P.F. Chang's orange chicken that we're making in the on the stove top right now. And I also made rice. It's Friday, so you know we're eating we're eating good, but not like crazy. And then I got some veggies. Show you the end result. I feel like this is gonna be really hot. Like yeah, temperature hot. Yeah. You want me to take a bite and it's gonna burn my mouth? Just like cut off a bite. Oh, mine's not cutting. I hope this is good. Cause it looks really good. All right. Mmm. It is good. I like it. Uh, I'm a big fan. Stay tuned for snacks later. It is 8.45. And I have some of these because I saw them and I had to have them. They kind of look like Takis. They're like a Dorito with Taki flavoring on them. So good. Wanted to end this video with a little bit of macro talk or just food talk. I think everybody when they start off with like a diet plan or some kind of like training plan, do you think it's going to be perfect? Do you think you're going to kill it every day? And although that might be true for like the first week, it's not going to be the case forever. Nobody can stay on track like 100% of the time, even 90% of the time. So just expect things to ebb and flow and really use the you know lifestyle or dieting tool that you're using, which is why I like tracking macros because it is so flexible. Um, really use that as like a tool. It's not just dictating your entire life. Sometimes you'll be on track with your macros. Sometimes you'll be on track with your workouts. Um, but then other times you might not be and that's okay. Give yourself grace and just keep hopping back on track. It doesn't mean that the diet or training program you chose is not for you or is not working. You just need to make it work for your lifestyle and you know, find that balance, find that flexible spot in your routine. Remember to subscribe if you haven't yet. I would absolutely love that. It means the world to us. Like this video if you did enjoy watching, share it with a friend, comment down below what you wanna see in these little vlogs. I need to know what you're missing out on. You're worth it.